What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video here at the Volkswagen store. We're going to be trying to hunt down a R-Line Volkswagen Atlas, okay? There's an R-Line that just came here uh, just a few nights ago and uh, hopefully it's gone through the shop and everything like that. I really want to show it to you because the R-Line Atlas just happens to be one of the prettiest, sportiest Atlases available right now with Volkswagen. So anyways, but we do got a uh, pretty tight looking Atlas right here. Not an R-Line, but Looks good with those black sporty wheels. So let's switch the camera around for a second and take a look. So this one happens to be a SEL package Atlas with the 20 inch black wheels. And my goodness, the white looks good with the black. I haven't, uh, this is my first time seeing a white one with the black wheels. I've seen the gold color with the black wheels in person. And uh, several months ago we had a, uh, a dark blue one with the black wheels. But uh, this is definitely a sporty looking color combination here definitely looks good on the Atlas and uh, I like to film these and show them to you on the channel because I know a lot of people are out there buying atlases or even considering buying one and they may be wondering you know what it looks like with the sportier black wheel on there because I, I believe it's a uh, it's an option you can you know opt in on or pay a little extra to get the 20 inch wheels now here's another unique thing about this one here it's got the uh, tow package on the back which looks pretty sweet so you can get the job done, get that boater jet ski out on the water. And uh, this looks like one that we got from Spartanburg, South Carolina that we deal or traded for. Because most likely somebody was wanting one with 20 inch black wheels. So that looks nice. It really does. Anyways, let's, uh, let's kind of move around and let's see if we can find that R-Line Atlas wherever it's at. Alright, so uh, I'm still looking for the Atlas, the R-Line. I think it's probably back here though with all these. Pretty sure it is. We're basically in a sea of Volkswagens right now. These are all new Volkswagens that just come in off the trucks. They park them right back here, and then once they're uh, done getting PDI in the shop and all that, then they make it up front. But anyways, while we're back here, let's go ahead and take a look and see what the Atlas R-Line looks like. And uh, again, we did a video on one not too long ago, but that's it right there. Ooh, it's pretty. I mean, the R-Line Atlas is just a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. I mean, it's just a lot more dressed up. Anyways, let's take the camera off me once again and go ahead and look at it. So that's definitely it right there. Now, the R-Line package, if you want to get it on your Atlas, is usually, it's around, it's a little bit under $2,000. I think it's around 1900 bucks or so to get an R-Line package on the Atlas. And, uh, you know, some of the things you'll get is like this right here, how that's kind of blacked out on the bottom. You know, that's a little bit different. The wheels are definitely an upgrade on here. Uh, you know, we saw the white ones earlier that looked nice, but man, those five stars with that dark gunmetal look look extremely good on here. And uh, those are also 20s. Those are a uh, 25550 series Continental tire with a 20 inch wheel. Still got to put the Volkswagen logo in the uh, center there. You know, this is kind of, you know, every R line is going to have that cool looking logo and the chrome and all right there. Pretty sweet. Let's take a look at his window sticker. Still got the 3.6 liter, so no upgraded engine of any type in here. I'd like to see it with a turbo with four motion. That would be incredible on this car. But, uh, you know, without the R line package, just an SEL V6, we're talking 44. Well, actually, with all the options and everything, it start, it's 44, it's 4890 right there. Still a little tough to see with his wide angle camera, but 4890. And then once you get that package on there, it's 1960, and then that puts you at 44,245 for this R-Line SEL V6 Atlas. Got the roof up top, all that going on. But even you know, just like the black on the front, you got the black on the back, right on down here. Got the tow package and all that. We still got to get all this stuff off of this. You know, that was one thing back in the day when I worked for Audi, they always seem to take the Q7s and wrap them up in all this uh, this stuff here. They don't put Cosoline. That Cosoline is the stuff on brand new cars. It's sprayed on the vehicle, which is a absolute pain in the ass to get off when you're back in detail trying to clean it off. So I kind of like that they do this instead. Maybe it costs a little more to put something like that on there, but it definitely makes for an easier job for the detail department to get it off and not having to worry about causing stuff getting on the paint and not being able to get it all off or maybe scratching it trying to get it off or however so anyways that's pretty sweet how they got them wrapped up on there 
Let's take a look at just a regular Atlas for a minute without an SEL or without an R line package. And there you have it. So you can definitely see the difference here. You know, the other one's got a shiny black finish on it down here. This is just a matte black with the silver. See what I'm talking about? Nice and shiny. It's a little different there. Definitely different wheels. Let's look at the front. See, again, just a, a kind of a plastic matte finish on that. So the shinier definitely looks better. You know, you don't have the R-Line logo right in here. As you can see on this one. So it's really up to you, you know, do you want to spend the extra two grand basically to get the R-Line versus just a regular Atlas like that. Um, interior wise, not going to be anything different on the inside on the R-Line versus a regular one. You know, you would think, you know, they'd have R-Line up on the headrest or, or somehow in the seat, but um, then no, no difference at all. Um, I do notice on the steering wheel right there, there's a little R-Line logo right on the bottom of the steering wheel. That really seems to be about the only difference on the interior versus a regular Atlas. So it's really more or less exterior type stuff. All right, that's about it, folks, on the uh, looking at this R-Line before it gets cleaned up. Once, we, once it's all cleaned up, we'll definitely uh, see what we can do about making a nice in-depth video. The gray looks good on the Atlas. That's a pretty color. All right. Yeah, I figure while we're out here, let's look at some colors, right? So maybe we'll call it a colors review featuring the R-Line Atlas. There's that pretty blue I was talking about earlier that I did a video on one with the black wheels. That's a really nice shade of blue. I, I'd basically say that's like a navy blue. Looks good. We just seen the gray a few minutes ago. Let's see what color they call that. That's called platinum gray metallic. Let's go over here. Here's a silver. So we definitely got a nice selection of colors right now. On the inside, we got that curcuma yellow, which we, uh, if you want to see that, check out my channel. I did a video on that a couple days ago. Silver always looks nice on the Atlas too. I think I see more whites on the road than anything. That's called Reflex Silver Metallic. So uh, Volkswagen's been rocking that Reflex Silver Metallic for a little while. Here's a black. We have a bunch of atlases right now, though. I mean, there's a ton of them here at the dealership. They call that deep black pearl, which looks good. Let's walk up front and take a look at all the different colors up there today. All right, everybody, we made it back up to the front of the store here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at all the different colors that the Volkswagen Atlas offers. So again, like I will tell you, if you're in the market to buy a vehicle, color is always top of the list right you got to get that color you want right whether it's the black the silver the white the red whatever it is everybody seems to have a color that they like to have on all their cars right so anyways let's take a look so some of these colors we just looked at in the front or in the back of the store before they got cleaned up for detail and all but here they are with all the plastics and everything off of them there's your black your reflex silver there's another black one. Let's take a look at this color right here, which looks really nice on the Atlas. Kind of a uh, dark red slash burgundy color. Don't know the name of it just yet, but we're going to find out in just a minute. But again, if you are a Carolina Gamecock fan, that might be the color for you. That looks really pretty. Let's see what color they call this one. Let's if I can find the window sticker. I, I don't see a window sticker on it, but we're going to find out here in just a second. See what we got. That's called uh, Fortana Red Metallic. And it looks like Fortana, nope, no charge. And so no, it doesn't cost any extra money to get that Fortana Red. You know, Mazda's got a color kind of similar to that that's really nice on their Mazdas. It's called, it's called Soul Red Metallic. That kind of reminds me of that color a little bit. There's that pretty blue we've been talking about that we looked at earlier. I actually got a bunch of those. I mean, there's three of them. Then we got the black, another black. Definitely a lot of blacks, whites, and silvers. There's another red. That's really about it. 
I think that would be a pretty color blue on the Atlas. I think it's only available right now on the Tiguan, and I think I've seen that color on the All Track before. But uh, we'll do a separate video talking about colors on the Tiguans. There's your atlases outside. Let's go make our way to the inside and take a look once again at the Kakuma Yellow Metallic because that's a really awesome color on the Atlas. I know it's not for everybody, but some people like it, just like this color on the Tiguan. That orange, not for everybody, but definitely a pretty color on the Tiguan. But look at that. You know, it looks a lot different on the inside with the lights on it, with the metallics and all. Isn't that pretty? That's a really nice color. Isn't that pretty? Wow. That's really nice. I mean, you can see all the metallics in there. Really pretty. I mean, that one's ready to come home with you for Christmas. I mean, that is just beautiful. The chrome. And uh, when you put the black 20-inch wheels on it, oh, boy, it really stands out a whole lot. I mean, those rims look tiny compared to those black 20s. And uh, if you get that curcuma yellow, you definitely want to get the black interior. And there's the roof up top. That's pretty. And let's take a look at the silver one here. They got some accessories on it. Yeah. Very nice. All right, everybody, you got to see the colors on the 2018 Atlas. We'll uh, stay tuned on the channel. We'll definitely uh, check out the Tiguan as well and see some of the colors on those because a lot of the colors also seem to kind of go on the other models. So if you see a color on the Atlas, you might be able to see it on the Tiguan, right? But I think there's a few colors out there you can only get on the Tiguan and won't get on the Atlas like that blue and like that orange. But anyways, have a great day, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and keep your smiling faces coming on back. I do appreciate it. Have a good one. If I don't see you before Christmas, have a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year from us here at Stokes Volkswagen and me, Chad, with Charleston Car Videos.